This video is brought to you by Stone Master. What up, what up, my beautiful people? Your boy Kevin back again with another video. First of all, I hope everyone's doing good and thank you for being here. Today, I got another budget phone for you guys. I got the Fiji Note 11 Pro. This phone costs only around $90 and the cheapest place that I found this phone was on AliExpress. You can pick it up from Amazon, eBay, or uh, some other websites. But the cheapest place that I found it was on AliExpress. What we're gonna do today, guys, we're gonna unbox this. We're gonna see how's the performance on it. We're gonna see how's the camera on it. We're gonna do a gaming test on it. We're gonna see is it you know, worth it for the money or not. But before we start this video, guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button right there. And there's a little bell at the bottom, right in the corner. If you wanna press that, so every time I make a new video, you get a reminder. So let's open this. That's how the box looks like, guys. Put that away. So you get a cheap silicone case, nothing special. We're gonna test that in a minute. And you get manual books, and they're all in English. Let's see what's in here. Oh, you get a screen protection on it, so you can grab it and put it on your phone just like that. But I think it does come with one. Yeah, it does come with one already. So let's put these away. You get cables, and you get a Euro charger. What else in there? Nothing else in there. Let's put that away. Let's get the phone out. And you get a SIM key right there. I'll tell you guys right now, it's on the heavier side. But remember, this phone is equipped with a 5,000 milliamp battery. If you guys can see, it's got a nice uh, triple camera setup right there. And main camera, it's uh, 16 MP. And your front camera is 8 MP. And this phone can record up to uh, 1080p. And you got your uh, on and off buttons right there. Your volume button right there and your SIM tray right there, and this phone is dual SIM, speakers right there, and you got a headphone jack on this phone. And this phone is equipped with a fingerprint scanner right in the back right there, and it says right there, Fiji, and it says design for Note series. You guys can see it says right there. Overall, looks pretty good. The only thing I just don't like about it is on the heavier side. You guys know me by now, I don't like heavy phones. Now let's test the phone case. Let's put it on. Mm, does a pretty good job. It protects it all around, so it's over the screen. And it does protect your camera because it pops in more. So if you guys can see, let's drop it. It does a pretty good job. And you will not scratch your screen or your camera. So now what we're gonna do guys is go through all the specs on this phone. You get 6.55 inch display, 60 hertz refresh rate, running on Android 10. Chipset is running on Helio P22. For memory, you got 4 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte. For front camera, you got 8 MP. For rear camera, you got 16 MP. This phone can record 1080p. For battery, you got 5,200 milliamp battery. The colors you can get this phone is spring green, sky blue, blue violet, and space black. This phone comes with fingerprint scanner and face unlock. The face unlock does not work. I keep trying. I cannot get it going. And now let's see how fast the fingerprint scanner works on this phone. It's not as fast as I thought it would be. It's pretty slow to unlock it. And you got to keep pressing it for it to work. And, uh, this phone comes with full Google support, like everything on Google, this phone has it. So if you guys can see, let me show you guys. This is all your Google. As soon as you open the box, this is what it comes with. You got your Google Chrome, Google Play Store, Google Assistant. Let's go to the left. And this is your uh, rest of your apps. You got your clock, contacts, uh, calendar, calculator, compass, sound record. Uh, FM AM radio, SIM, and file manager. And these are my own apps that I downloaded. And uh, this phone comes with uh, Google Assistant. So let's try it. Okay, Google. Open camera. Okay. It's not as fast as response, but it does work. 
So if you guys can see, this phone is pretty quick, does not have that much lag, responds pretty fast. Let's open uh, app, boom. See how quick that opens, open this. Open this, let's go YouTube. Duo, so it does respond really fast. Type something on Google, see a quick response. So let's open Facebook. If you guys can see, very quick now response. Let's go through the settings. Let's start from the top. So you get your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, flashlight, auto rotate, battery saver, mobile data, airplane mode, and eye protection. And that's pretty much it for the top settings. Let's go to main settings. So you got your net ports and internet, and this phone is dual SIM. You got your connections and devices. And Bluetooth, you got your apps and notifications, you got your battery, you got display. This phone does not get that bright. So make sure you remember that. Let's go to wallpapers. So you got your gallery wallpapers, live wallpapers, photos, and wallpapers. Let's go to this. Nothing special. It's better to download your own. Then you got your sounds. Let's go down. Let's go to ringtone, SIM1. Then you got your storage, privacy, location, security, and accounts. You got your uh, navigation bar. You got your digits and Google, dirt speed, system, and about phone. Let's go to about phone. If you guys can see, Note 11 Pro. And this is M1, M2, model number, hardware, IMI number, memory. It's got 128, 4 gigabyte, and running on Android 10. That's it for the This setting. phone's got 6.5 inch display. Let's go see how's the quality uh, on the display on this phone and uh, how loud the speakers get. You got 60 hertz refresh rate, and this phone's got a Helio P22. It should be okay for gaming. So let's go download a game and do a gaming test on this phone. I'm really curious, $90 phone, usually $90 phones, like really, really cheap phones, budget phones, they don't have really good cameras. <laughs> Let's go see how's the camera quality on this phone and go through the camera settings on this phone. So now we got the camera settings. The camera does not have much for me to show you guys. So let's see. You got your HDR, you got your flash. Let's go to video. For video to get to settings, you press this. You go to settings here. Let's go to quality. So max quality is 19, 20, 10, 80. Let's leave it as that. Then you got your pictures. For zoom, you only got four times zoom. Then you got your beauty. So you can adjust your nose, your face, your eyes, and your uh, tone. But it does not do that good a job. Then you got your bouquet. If you want to take pictures, you can just press the back of the fingerprint scanner and it will take pictures. So it's just like that. So I can take pictures, like I can go here. I just press the back of the fingerprint scanner and it takes pictures and that's pretty much it. So guys, but this camera, I cannot take pictures and videos for you guys right now because I'm having problem with the camera. The phone is stuck in selfie camera and uh, it's not just stuck in selfie camera, it's stuck in selfie plus it's upside down. So every time I'm trying to take a picture of myself, I am upside down and I keep resetting the phone to factory reset. I ran a software update on it and nothing is uh, helping it. So I cannot take pictures and videos for you guys. I'm just gonna show you guys. So if you guys can see, cannot go to a rear camera. 
the button is not there it's supposed to be right here it's not there so it's only a selfie camera and i am upside down so if you want to take pictures you're taking pictures upside down i tried everything to fix it nothing is working just wanted to show you guys what do i think about this uh, 90 dollar uh, phone is it worth it or not would i recommend it obviously not i am not going to recommend this one because after using it for just one hour you guys already saw i showed you guys the camera it's lagged out, it got stuck, so you can only use the selfie camera. And the display on this phone is not that good. This, and the sound on it is not that good. It's like someone whistling inside the phone. For gaming, you shouldn't have any problems as long as you're playing really heavy duty games on it. And the good thing is you have a 5,000 milliamp battery that's gonna last you for a couple of days. You guys let me know in the comment what do you guys think about this phone. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Please don't forget to press that like button and I'm going to catch you guys on my next video. So peace out for now.